Hey everyone, it's Chris Bennett, your blockchain beard guy here. It's been a long time since I've been home. Uh, I've been out on the road teaching blockchain all over the world. Really, really exciting, having a lot of fun. But it means that uh, I haven't had a chance in a long time to do one of these car videos. So thought I'd take advantage of having a few nights at home and uh, get in the car and chat a little bit about blockchain just for old time's sake. So uh, today I wanted to talk about two different stories that I saw in the news this week. Um, one that's been getting a lot of attention and one that hasn't been getting much attention at all. Um, the one that's been getting a lot of attention is a story about the hype cycle of blockchain. Is the hype cycle over? Um, the story basically said that hype around blockchain is dying down because the number of times that an executive mentions blockchain or uses the word blockchain on an earnings call uh, for any publicly traded Fortune 500 has dropped pretty significantly over the past couple quarters. Um, so there's been a lot of back and forth about does this spell the end of blockchain? Was blockchain just a fad to begin with? Um, and I think it's kind of an interesting study. Uh, I think it's, first of all, a very narrow metric. I'm not really sure uh, what, what that is supposed to indicate, what uh, executives of publicly traded companies talk about at their quarterly earnings statement conferences. Um, <clears throat> you got to remember, just by nature of what they're surveying, you're talking to an audience who is really only thinking 90 maybe 365 days ahead at the most um, and the article never really explains what they mean by hype cycle or hype around blockchain or the technology um, <clears throat> if you interpret this to mean that overall interest in blockchain is dying down well, that's absolutely not what we're seeing on the ground um, we're seeing more and more interest outside of developers and technologists, but really other folks in the business starting to get interested. And a lot of really big names out there um, really getting excited about writing some checks and getting their staff and their uh, associates trained up on blockchain. So uh, we just keep seeing more and more interest grow every month um, outside of cryptocurrencies, outside of just banking and finance. Um, so if, if that's what they mean about hype dying down, uh, we certainly don't see it. Now, if on the other hand, hype means that we're not talking about it as much because now we've actually uh, put on our hard hats and we're building solutions, well then great. I'm all for the hype dying down and real actual solutions being built. In fact, uh, this is one of the things the naysayers always use when they try and say blockchain's just a fad or it's not a big deal. Uh, they point to a lack of solutions out there delivering real world value. And so this brings me to the second story which has not gotten any attention at all and I think it's a shame. And that was a story in the news that IBM has teamed up with Maersk, the giant shipping conglomerate, uh, to build blockchain-based solutions that have reduced shipping costs for Maersk, uh, in some cases by over 40%. Um, <clears throat> so reducing transoceanic shipping costs by 40% or more, um, just absolutely incredible, incredible achievement. Um, so to all those saying that blockchain isn't delivering value, that it's just hype, that no one's getting any kind of meaningful solutioning out of it. Um, we'll look no further than IBM and Maersk just this week uh, announcing they've reduced shipping costs by 40%. Uh, I think what that means for global trade, commerce, uh, what that means for any business that has anybody else in their supply chain, value chain, um, customer chain, etc., uh, overseas or that crosses international borders. Um, really, really, really big news. So that's just my take on it. Um, don't uh, don't put too much weight with the naysayers. Uh, there's always going to be people out there saying that uh, this technology is just a fad. Uh, trust me, it's not going anywhere. Uh, we're just seeing more and more big names get interested in it, more and more people every day. 
and every day there are new compelling solutions being built which are actually delivering real world business value uh, they just unfortunately don't get talked as much about uh, about as much as all the doom and gloom stories so anyway hope wherever you guys are at you're having an awesome day uh, see if I can't get one or two more videos done here in the car while I'm home because uh, I know how much you guys love these. Anyway, glad you could take a ride with me again after all this time. And until next time, this is Chris Bennett, your Blockchain Beard Guy. I'll talk to you guys soon.